Hi folks, and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while and people have been asking for updates and what's happening and I thought I'd just do a quick video to let you know. Four months ago I sold my bike and then the second wave of Covid, factories getting shut down, Brexit, all that kind of stuff and global shortage of bikes and it didn't look like I was going to be able to get a, another bike for a long time. So four months later, it's finally here. And it's a weekend, it's sunny, uh, things are moving in the right direction and I just thought I'd show you the new bike and then explain to you what the plans are for the next couple of videos. So without further ado, let's see my new bike. It is the Nukeproof Mega, it's a 290. It's the factory version. So this one is effectively paired up with Shimano XT components. So Shimano XT brakes, crack and stop and power from them. Four pots, two or three rotors at the front and 180s in the rear. In terms of the drivetrain here, it's all Shimano XT and with the new tw with the 12 speed stuff so everything to do with the, the drivetrain component around there and probably the star of what i'm really excited about is going to be the new suspension and we're running now with the fox 38s these are the 2021s um the 170 mil they've got the grip 2 uh, damper on them which is the latest one's got the variable valve control and to give you um I'll, get, I'll go into more details about that, about how I'm going to go for this setting of the compression uh, and rebound. But there's high speed and low speed on both front and rear. So lots of things to tune up with. In terms of setting up the bike so far, I've just gone fairly straightforward. Uh, 106 PSI in the front, 200 in the rear. And it's going to be a fairly plush setup. So that's giving me just over 20% travel uh, sag in the front and about 30% on the rear. And I just want to set up fairly plush to begin with and I can start meddling about with it once I get into uh, the riding style of this bike, so I'm going to have to change things because it's a different geometry from, from the previous bike as well. So that's really it, let's turn back around and have another look at it. Um, I don't think the pictures do it justice, it really is an absolute stunning bit of uh, engineering and uh, it just sits so well. Lots of other things I'll get into, but space for the water bottle, that's what everyone's cracking on a bit now. I've gone for the Aragon grips, um, custom bolt-on Mudguard, nice and tidy, going for the standard one rather than the long one this time. DT Swiss rims, again ran them before and they're fairly bulletproof. These are the lighter, stronger versions, the 1700s I think they are. And Mitchell and Wild Enduros. In terms of the Mitchell and Wild Enduro, I've had them, I've run, I've had them on a, on a bike that I, I demoed when I was demoing some of the Mondraker stuff and fairly sloppy muddy conditions. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, they held up to the task. So I've just been going along a, a canal path and not going to ride it out properly. I was just checking to make sure the levers were in place, bending the brakes and to make sure the sealant is going round because I'm running tubeless now. So we'll get onto this. Like I said, I'm going to have the next video. So on to the next video. The next video will be a shakedown ride and it'll be uh, whereby I'll just basically show you what my setup is. I'll give my first impressions and give a mini review of what the bike's like and other kind of plans. Also, I'm going to be heading towards the 1,000 subscriber mark. So that benchmark deserves some kind of giveaway and some kind of thanks. So I've got a couple of things I'm going to be giving away. Um, and all we'll do is, once I hit the 1,000, anyone with certain comments, like subscribe, that kind of thing, I'll come up with a, a system whereby on the 1,000 one, I can select two people at random and post them out the, the merchandise. So the next video, I'll reveal what I'm going to be giving away and how to, how to enter. So if you're interested in that, interested in the competition, and you want to see more of the new new Proof Mega and see whatever we get on riding it and what kind of trails and stuff I'm going to go for, um, by all means, then just, you know, you can help the channel out by, what they always say, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Keeps all the, uh, the AI, the future AI overlords happy. And um, yeah, so if, if you do that, we'll basically see what happens when we get to a thousand and uh, we'll each chat about things. A couple of things for a go. Any suggestions for new pedals? I like running flats. I had DMR vaults before, they were great. Size 11 feet, so this is kind of the um, nice and big and good concave ones. So let me know what's a good replacement. And um, yeah, that, that'll really much coverage now, I think. Uh, yeah, I've gone for the XL. XL bike, I'm 6'2". This probably slap bang in the middle of the new uh, broken. They've got five ranges now, five um, sizes rather than four. So it's more bespoke for your reach and geometry and whatnot. So this is, um, like I say, the XL. So I think it already fits me, feels good, just pedaling around. Angles and that feel superb so far. 
so yeah that's it for snow and uh, it's going to take me a while to get into it get the skill to power again and uh, we'll just uh, we'll see you in the next one but again thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next one see you later guys bye